Hello and welcome to Optics Trades YouTube channel. This is the US Optics DRS 2.0 Enhanced and in this short review, we're going to take a look at its features. The company US Optics is of course headquartered in the US. They have been around since 1991 and are still known for their domestically produced rifle scopes, especially the tactical ones. And if you have one and go to the range here in Europe, they're so rare that you'll definitely gather a lot of attention there. Gradually, US Optics expanded their offer to products made elsewhere, also to other categories such as red hot sites. They followed the example of other US situated companies, which became very famous by doing so. And one of their newly produced devices is this open reflex red hot sight, so the 2.0 enhanced. There is also the 2.0 standard version. We already have the review available on our YouTube channel. If you want to look for that one, uh, just check it out on our YouTube channel. Now let's move on and start with the looks of this red hot sight. It is of the compact type, of the open reflex type, 45 millimeters long, 30 millimeters wide, 25 millimeters high. It weighs 34 grams without the adapter. The adapter adds additional 23 grams of weight. It's made out of 60, 61 T6 aluminum alloy and the lens size is 22 millimeters by 15 millimeters, which makes it pretty much a standard, uh, standard lens size. And Hans suggests that this red dot is superior to the standard DRS 2.0. So in this review right now, we're going to go some of the most notable improvements that the enhanced version brings. The first one has to do with illumination. And this here is the reason. So the illumination is adjusted to the ambient light automatically, thanks to this sensor. Um, the dot is automatically brightened or dimmed. When it detects light, it immediately reacts. It's a matter of one second or even less. This is a very useful feature to have as you do not have to deal with the buttons. This is so this is perfect for a point to point and shoot uh, for a point and shoot solution. Um, you may encounter problems in certain circumstances. For example, when you're in dark place and aiming at a bright place, the dot will be too dimmed. But in co common situations, uh, this will definitely come in handy and you will not have to use the button. So everything will be done automatically, uh, making it very easy to use. The definition of the dot, I will show the illumination at the end of this video as well as I can. Um, the definition is very clear. I do not have astigmatism, so for me there is no star effect. It doesn't say where this red hot side is made. Nowhere on the side is it listed, and nowhere on the box is it listed. I'm going. I'm pretty sure it's China. If you have any other information on the, this side's origins, do leave a comment down in the comment section. I like the daring modern design. These openings with very thin lines here, and the carefully machined frame. All this gives it a unique look and you might want to avoid strong impacts uh, to these lines as some blunt force might make them dent in or something, but they are quite sturdy. So this shouldn't happen unless you uh, really do it with much force. This US Optics logo also adds to the cool look. So I would say it looks really cool. Uh, many modern uh, details to it, such as these lines and the lens frame and so on. It uses a Dr. Noblex footprint, which is now hidden underneath this fixed mount here, but it uses different thicker screws. So you need thinner screws if you wish to mount this on the adapters designed specifically for the Dr. Noblex footprint. This one is made by the German company EAW. So if you wish to mount this side, uh, you will not be able to use the same screws. You will need thinner screws, just something to keep in mind if you want an after sales accessory such as a quick detachable mount or something similar. Well, as I said, we have a low mount for the Picatinny platform supplied in the box. Um, you can use it on a hunting rifle with a Picatinny on the receiver, but based on its five MOA dot size and looks, most shooters mount this one on a pistol. Even though five MOA still does work, um, even for rivals, even though it provides a little bit more cap coverage than standard two and three MOA dots on a rifle. How do you turn this thing off? Well, basically you can, but to preserve battery life, 
make sure that no light gets to the sensor when you're not using it. And the best way, of course, to do so is by covering it with this provided rubber adapter here. So when you're not using it, just put it in a dark place or cover it with this cap and the battery will be preserved. The compartment for the battery look, is located on the side. It holds a CR2032 battery. This is also one of its advantages over the standard DRS 2.0. Uh, with the standard version, we have the battery compartment on the bottom. Here we have it on the side. This is an advantage because you can quickly replace the battery without the need to remove this from the site and of course without the need to re-zero. The elevation and windage adjustment screws. One click equals one MOA based on the instruction manual which is approximately 1.4 centimeters at 50 meters. But these clicks, they do not produce clicks when turned. So you do have to rely on the lines listed next to the screws in the zeroing process. The point of impact movement is displayed with this arrow next to the screws. It is waterproof, fog proof. As regards optics, it features a true one times magnification, can be easily used with both eyes open. The view through the window is clear. Only a small amount of blue tint in the upper part. Now that I'm aiming it towards a white background, you can probably see that, but it's almost unnoticeable when used um, in the field or on the range. Features a tilted lens. Um, I always explain this because we still receive many questions from our customers as to whether this is normal. It's more of a problem with small tube sites where it appears unnatural, here not so much. But this has to be so in order for the diode projected, uh, for the beam projected by the LED to reflect to the user's eye uh, regardless of its position, it helps it be, uh, it helps the, it to be parallax free and have unlimited eye relief. So you definitely need a tilted lens for the site to operate as it should. The price here in Europe, 399 euros, and you get it in the, this cool looking box with the modern shiny US Optics logo. In the box, you receive this rubber cover to protect your device when you're not using it or transporting it on a on a pistol or on a rifle. A bunch of tools that will help you make individual adjustments to the site. You also get a bunch of other accessories such as this quality control check, um, which basically tells you that your site has been inspected and is uh, definitely suitable to be passed on to the market. A sticker and a user as manual in the English language. So you have everything to get you started. And here you basically have a lens cloth as well. And uh, everything on the inside is nice and soft. So you don't have to worry about the side being damaged when it's shipped to you. You can also use this box for transportation. This, the warranty is two years here in Europe at least. And now that we've reached the end of this review, I want to go through everything uh, and point out the advantages and disadvantages of this site. Started, of course, with the pros. What I do like is the design. It's modern. Everything is flush with the housing. This battery tray doesn't protrude much. So you really have a nice looking uh, site that looks well on any firearm. Also pretty modern, uh, this there lines here in this holes are not something I've seen with the competition. So it's definitely, it stands out of the crowd. Well, we have the automatic brightness adjustment, which is a huge plus, um, but also a minus. I will get to that later. We also have the battery compartment here on the side. This is also a plus, you know, as I, I already explained this before. And we have the Dr. Noblex footprint, which I think is a plus if you're planning on purchasing uh, any after sale accessories from other mount producers, but keep in mind to use thinner screws. So this is the only downside of this advantage. The disadvantages, well, the automatic brightness adjustment is, a, is an advantage, but can be a disadvantage in certain situations, such as when you're in a dark place and shooting outside where, where, it's, where it's basically bright and you will have a dimmed side, a dimmed dot, you will not see it well. 
but this is only in certain situations. In most scenarios, it will definitely come in handy to have the illumination without the need of buttons. Then we only have the 5 MOA version. I'm pretty sure that some rifle users would prefer to have a smaller dot and some pistol users would prefer to have a bigger dot. So we have a golden mean, we have uh, the dot size somewhere in between so that you can use it for, uh, for both types of firearms. And also the elevation and windage screws which do not produce clicks. This is the next disadvantage, but other than that, I do think that this is a modern looking device with an automatic brightness adjustment, which definitely will attract a lot of buyers as it does come useful in many situations. And I also like the how the side quickly reacts to the light. So when you take it from the darkness into somewhere where it's bright, it immediately uh, turns the brightness um, to, to a really high power. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this review useful, leave a like, subscribe. If you have anything to add or wish to ask us anything, then just leave a comment down in the comment section. Check out our other videos on US Optics products. Take care and see you next time. Bye.